Hi guys, let's check out the best diet for diabetes. We'll look into a scientific analysis of diabetes, the best diet, the main benefits from plants, excluding animal products and including plant products. Let's check it out. <laughs> So what is the best diet for those who are diabetic? Diabetes is an immune disorder that alters the way we digest our food, the ability to transport sugar in our bodies. This disability can result in heart problems, shortened lifespan, and other health conditions, such as illness in the brain, the eyes, the organs, the external limbs, such as the feet and hands. Now, this disorder is growing rapidly from just 20 years ago, having only 30 million worldwide to 350 million jump in just 2011. Projected numbers are going to almost double in mere dozens of years. Now, this map here illustrates the countries with diabetic populations, noting the Americans burdening in the millions, and India and China have significant numbers as well. Diabetes and diet, there is a significant link. This table shows that diabetic people and their types of diets where more plants included, the less likely you are to suffer from this illness. As we go from left to right, the vegan diet has the least amount of diabetic risk, perhaps due to the inclusion of plants. Scientific research from the Institute for Clinical and Experimental Medicine in the Czech Republic looks at vegetarian diets, prevention, and treatment of type 2 diabetes. The researchers took a review of the observational studies showing that type 2 diabetes is almost cut in half with a vegetarian diet compared to the general population's more omnivorous diets. Now, this weight loss of vegetarians are a significant factor in managing diabetes as well. The change to a vegetarian diet leads to better glucose readings, improved insulin resistance, and oxidative stress. Now, too much food leads to a host of diseases along with diabetes. Diabetes, in fact, is a leading cause of disability and death on the westernized diets and in the westernized countries. A useful strategy is to manage diabetes through diet and the foods and these vegetables are the best for diabetics with a low energetic density food consumed. So you're really looking for fruits and vegetables that have a uh, low energy and uh, high fiber. Vegetarian diets can reduce the risk of obesity and metabolic syndrome. Conversely, with the regular consumption of meat increases your risk of diabetes. Long-term animal-loving diets can increase your chance of getting diabetes by 75%. A vegetarian diet is so powerful at helping diabetics that the results can be seen through diet alone, even without an exercise program. Insulin sensitivity is the key factor that determines success or failure as a diabetic. Vegetarian diets have been shown to increase this. Reduce fat in the blood, a.k.a. because you are not eating it through animal fats consumed, can also show improvements in blood sugar health. Body weight is significantly influenced by diet, and vegetarians, men and women, have a tendency to have lowered body weight. This has a positive benefit for blood sugar health readings. Blood pressure is related to cardiovascular risk. Vegetarian diets are associated with lower blood pressure, and this can be related to a lowered weight. Now, blood lipids are improved with a vegetarian-filled diet. Vegetarian proteins contain specific acids that help improve insulin sensitivity, thus improving diabetic symptoms. Altogether, diabetes can be improved by reducing your weight, reducing your blood lipid concentration, and also reducing your blood pressure. The next topic is diabetic nephropathy, or known as blood artery or blood circulatory system health. This blood network in the human body is vast and diverse, 
having different sizes and stretching throughout each organ and network of muscle and fiber tissues. These vascular networks can deteriorate quickly with the inclusion of animal proteins. Conversely, eating more plant proteins one can slow the progression or deterioration of artery function. In as little as eight weeks, we can see improvements in half of diabetic patients in arterial health. The next topic is a particular vein or small arteries in the eyeballs. The eyes are sensitive to renal deterioration or blood health issues. Bad blood health can quickly affect your eyes, and diabetic patients are especially at risk. With a vegetarian diet, including many micronutrients, namely lutein, zeaxanthin, and carotenoids, these can target the eye structure, maintaining your eye health. Our next best diet tip in diabetes, this study looked at not just seeing, but a quality of life and mood reported to be improved on a vegetarian diet. The neurotransmitter synthesis, i.e. thoughts, and receptor dynamics, i.e. your senses, can be reported as being better functioning on a vegetarian diet compared to an omnivorous diet. Now, disinhibition or overeating, losing control, or feeling stressed can all be reduced on a vegetarian diet. This study leads us to suggest that vegetables are filled with these improvements that lead to our physical and mental health that we desire. Diabetic management can be successfully achieved through a vegetarian diet based on these factors. Caloric restriction or eating less calories. Reducing intake of saturated fats, our animal fats. Instead, increasing polyunsaturated fats, which are found in abundance in plants and oils. Increased fiber intake. Increase of good non-heme iron through plants. And decrease of bad heme iron, which is in animal products. And increasing plant proteins in the plant sterols, prebiotics that aid in digestion and cellular maintenance. Furthermore, let's explain caloric restriction. It's the best way to lose weight and also maintain a good glycemic control. Vegetables that are filled with lower saturated fats, this can increase your insulin sensitivity. So basically, if you're going to choose vegetables, you're not really choosing animal products, you're getting a benefit of the insulin sensitivity boosting effects of vegetables, and then also you're not getting the insulin sensitivity damaging effects of animal products. Our next topic component of a best diet for diabetics is fiber, which is a beneficial component to blood health, helping those who are diabetic. Now, fiber is only found in the plant structures and the plants that you consume. It is not found in any of the animal structures or animal products that you consume. The high amount of antioxidants, vitamins, and micronutrients that are compounded with the fiber in the plant products that you're eating in effect, improves your diabetic symptoms. The amounts of vitamins and minerals consumed per day affects your blood health and your cardiovascular health. Next issue for diabetics and non-diabetics alike is iron consumption through diet and how that affects our blood health. Now, we know that we have two different types of iron, heme and non-heme iron. If you want more information about iron and iron sources, check out my video at The Vegan Food Scientist or my YouTube site link is below. Now, heme iron and ferritin intake are positively associated with insulin resistance. This is a negative impact of diabetes. Heme iron is found in animal meats and non-heme iron is found in plant sources. And speaking of vegetable proteins, this is the next benefit in a diet of a diabetic patient. Vegetable proteins specifically contain non-essential amino acids that have a positive effect on the glucagon secretions. Plant proteins reduce blood lipids, contain anti-inflammatory and anti-cancerous effects. Plant proteins reduce the risk of overweight and obesity in 
patients that are diabetic and non-diabetic. Plant proteins can also reduce cardiovascular disease. However, if we look at animal proteins, this increases all of these assets. Obesity, blood lipids, cancerous agents, inflammatory agents, and increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Diabetics and non-diabetics can benefit from plant proteins renal protective effects. This means that it is cardio protective and helps improve our blood and artery health. Choosing plants over animals positively affects your renal blood flow and animal products damage your renal function. Eating plants over animals protects you against the development of diabetic nephropathy and slowing of disease progression as we mentioned before. Another reason to eat plants over animals for diabetic health and that it's the best diet is that plants naturally contain plant sterols which are similar in structure to cholesterol. So this is very important as these sterols act as replacers so they mimic or take the place of cholesterol and thus, when it is connecting in your body, it can lower the absorption of our bad cholesterol up to 50%. This will take us to the end of our study, our scientific analysis on the best diet for diabetics and non-diabetics alike. This study has outlined the major reasons for choosing a vegetarian-based diet as it is. So I hope you guys have a great day and check out my website at the Vegan Food Scientist YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and comment below. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day and keep it vegan, y'all.